Okay, let's try something different. What's up guys, Vopnevin here, and I am back. So today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a pretty cool sub for sub live stream for like YouTube guys. So this is my sub for sub live stream board. You guys can see it's pretty beastly guys. So I got some empty slots here. So I'm going to show you how to make the slots like this guys. So you pretty much want to go on like paint.net and make yourself an overlay like this guys. It's pretty easy. You can do any type you want. There's all types I have. So first thing you want to do is of course get their names in in the, on the board and their subscribers. So you wanna go to he wanna So this is one of my overlays that I made. So first thing you wanna do, of course, go to internet. Um go to here guys. So yeah okay so you pretty much want to go to type in livecount.net and you can just like search up channel here so i'm just going to do like phase rain so phase rain so yeah see so you want to copy the link of who you want to put on the board so copy so i copied it okay so i'm going to go back to my Sub for sub here. Okay. So we're back to my sub for sub, guys. So you want to click add. You probably guys can't see. So you want to left click. Yeah, left click. No, right click. And click add. Here, not guys. I'm just going to do this easier. Uh, browser. No. I'm going to make this for you guys to see this. I. Uh, Display capture. There it is. So, you want to open this up here. So, I'm going to open this up here for you guys to see what I'm doing. So, I'm just going to kind of go like this. So, you guys see my mouse here. So, you're going to right click and click add. You want to go to down here and find browsers. Or not browsers. Wait, yeah, browsers, guys. So, it should be the third one out to the top. Click that. So this will be my 14th person. So I'm going to move this over here. So it's going to pop out as OBS here. So now you want to go to here. And it says URL. So delete that and click copy or click control V or whatever you do. So I click, I just click paste. So it's going to pop up here. So see it shows the numbers here guys. So now you want to right click well, no. right click yeah click filters and click here let me move this here for you guys and see so you want to click right click add and crop pad so it should say crop pad so you want to crop it out so it should say left top right and bottom so you want to crop it out until you get to the right like how you want how big it needs to be so top I'm gonna do 225 no that's 216 crap 216 so 214 no 212 no 211 yeah 211 and then to the right you want to do 2050 maybe no crap. 50 I'm just going to do 50. At bottom, I'll do 145. No. 225. There we go. And you want to click right click again on the interact effects or whatever they call them. And click color key, guys. Color key. And then you want to, should say green, click custom color. Select color. Pick color from. Pick screen color bring it over here and click screen color it's just so it's gonna be like it's bluish so you guys I hope you guys can see this but, you know let me check yeah you guys can see this so now you want to like use this bar and figure out how you want it 
So I normally have the the first one to a thousand, first one to one, and then the third one to negative one, and then the rest is to the front. And so that's pretty much it, guys. So now you just want to crop this down to size. So I'm gonna crop it down to size, guys. So now you got you can click add text and you type in the person's name. So mine is phase rain. And you can choose you guys' font here. So any font you want, there is any font here. So I normally use the second font. And I normally keep it as black as of course black. So now it says phase rain here. So see guys, phase rain. Now bring in how big you want it and bring it right onto the spot under um, the their uh, subscribers and you can use the arrow keys to bring it up a little by little. So it's pretty simple. I I'm pretty sure it's simple guys. I'm pretty sure you guys can do it too. If I can do it, you guys can do it. I can say that. So this is pretty much how you do a sub for sub live stream. And actually you need another thing here guys. So you want to um, I'm going to make this bigger. So you want to go to um, settings here guys. Click settings. Stream. And a stream key guys. It should have a stream key when you need to go on YouTube. Here, I'll show you guys where to go. So, the stream key here. So, I already got my stream key. So, I'm going to go back to here, my PC. And I'm going to go to YouTube. So, you want to go to here, Creator Studio. And then go to Live Streams. And then go down, and it should say Stream Name Slash Key. So, you want to click Review. But I'm not gonna click that because it, then you guys can stream off of my account, so that's not gonna show. So you just want to click review and copy this, and then you want to go back to your OBS, and then you want to go to back to settings, go back to stream, and go stream key, delete, uh, click copy, and or click paste, and paste your stream key on there. And make sure you use server, make sure you do YouTube. If you're going to do Twitch, you have to do a different thing for Twitch. I don't really know how to do the Twitch one because I don't use Twitch. But there's all types here you guys can do live. You can even stream on Facebook, guys. So that's pretty much how you want to do it. You want to click apply, and that's pretty much it, guys. So this is pretty much how to do your sub for sub live stream like I do. If you want these moving, like if you see how I got these moving text here, I'm just gonna example it on phase rain here. So you wanna right click, click uh, filters again, click that, click add, and it should call be called scroll. And then it should be like a scroll spree screen. Like you make it scroll this way, you can make it scroll up and down you can make it scroll side to side so you can make it go like this you can do all types you see I can just go like this if I wanted and I'll scroll side to side but I'm not gonna do that cuz it's kinda trippy guys so that's pretty much how you do sub, sub, sub live streams uh, so yeah this is pretty much how you guys do it and make sure you guys uh, like, rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, um, you guys can do sub for sub live streams. Uh, it's pretty easy, guys. But only part what's annoying is someone asks for a sub for sub. You have to right, you have to click this, right click it. Yeah, right click, click properties. And then you want to erase this and, and go to the. I lost 62 subs. What is going on? Okay. I was at 62 subs, guys. Now I'm at 55 for some reason. I don't know what just happened. It did the exact same thing for Phase King RL for some reason. 
something is going on here. Okay, so you just want to go like this, copy and paste, you know, same pretty much process, and you just want to go here, click property, and change their name. That's pretty much it, guys. So, that's all you guys need to know how to use sub, sub live streams. I will be doing more tutorials how to do this, and I will talk to you guys in the next video.